Gulf, the owner of the largest gas station in Georgia and the largest market player, is on a new path. Gulf Georgia has a new CEO. Craig Kramer brings more than 30 years of experience working in the oil field. In three years, Gulf has contributed 409 million lari to the budget in taxes and more than 2 million lari in charitable expenses. These numbers are constantly growing. What is the new CEO's signature management style? What does he expect from the new government? And what opportunities does he see in the future? Meet the new CEO in November's issue of Forbes Georgia. Four continents, 22 countries, more than a billion market value, more than 7 million active customers, 50,000 courier partners, and up to 53 partner facilities. These are Glovo's main numbers. Giga Demetrashvili talks to Forbes Georgia about the company's plans and expectations. All commercial banks operating in Georgia have already submitted financial results for the nine months of 2020 to National Bank of Georgia. According to them, the total assets of Georgian banks, despite the economic crisis, have increased by 80% annually and amount to 54 billion lari. Read more in this month's edition of Forbes Georgia. Does Georgia have a future in IT industry? Where is our country located on the IT map? Strategist President Anatoly Motkin answers the question. What is the price of change in energy and what news should we expect in 2021? Georgi Pangani, a member of the Georgian Energy and Water Supply Regulatory Commission, shares his views in author's column of Forbes Georgia. What should the new government look like for the economy to recover quickly and the country to progress? The answers can be found in an interview with Zaza Bibilashvili, a partner at the BGI law firm. Updated rankings of the 100 most profitable companies, private equity funds as an alternative source of funding, and many more in-depth insights into ongoing business and economic affairs in Georgia and abroad. Read this month's edition of Forbes Georgia.